I will go on to a higher power and we can see here the nice nucleus of what tunic? That nucleus is involved, is part of what tunic? Tunica interna or aka tunica intima. Again, we got this problem with multiple names, okay? We've got this tunica intima, tunica interna, okay? And we come out here into a, a, a tunic, a layer. What tissues can you see in that tunic? I think there's a little bit of smooth muscle in there. Not much. Tiny little bit. And uh, probably some connective tissue. And it's what tunic? Media. Media. And then we get out here. This is the tunica adventitia or externa. And it's the major tunic, isn't it? It's the thickest one on this large vein. You know, when you have a vein and an artery side by side like this, which is the largest? The vein. Why? I, I realize it's collapsed down here, but it has the largest capacity. Why? Because there's an inverse proportion between blood flow and volume, isn't there? Between rate of flow and volume. In an artery, the blood is flowing fast or slow? Fast. Therefore, a small diameter will do. In a vein, the blood is flowing fast or slow? Slow. slow. Therefore, you need a larger diameter to carry the same amount of blood. Okay? So, so that's a, an important consideration there. On slides like this, I mean, you see other things. You know, we've seen the skeletal muscle. Uh, we've seen all the adipose. And we have these structures. And they tend to travel together, by the way. And so this is, is one of those triad things we have. And what, what are these structures? These are nerves, yes. Okay? So these are, are very good uh, shots of nerves uh, with their tunics around them. Uh, and, and you remember endoneurium, perineurium, epineurium? Uh, we've got those, those uh, connective tissue layers around them. Okay. Okay, and unless you've actually looked at this one, this is a, a hard one to um, really come up and, and identify. I mean, I'm on the lowest power, and we got to cut, it's, it's cut off, it's not complete because it's part of this structure. And we see it winds around and goes over to where it's cut off again. Okay, normally, okay, it would be con con continuous as a circle, and the pointer is now in the lumen. Okay, the pointer is now in the lumen. Okay, not this. This is outside. This is in the lumen. So the pointer is now in the lumen. Therefore, okay. Um, I mean, what structure is this? What what structure do I have in the field of view? It's a vein. Okay, and and it's one of those things that for me, I've seen it before, so I know it's a vein. Okay? It doesn't jump out and bite me like one in situ in the tissues like on the last slide. Okay? We go to a higher power. And we can see some of the structure. This uh, first single cell layer is what tunic? Intima. What tissue? Endothelium. Simple squamous epithelium. Pardon? What'd you say? Endothelium, yeah. Endothelium, simple squamous epithelium. Thought I heard something else. Okay. And I think I read arguments about the large vein like this and what the tunics are. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it consistent. We've got a tunica intima and here a tunica media. Okay. The tunica 
media should have some smooth muscle fibers. And I think these little guys that are the paler color like this are cut smooth muscle fibers. This is all connective tissue. Okay? And, and, and I think that makes up the media, at least in some of the books that I've read on it. But this is the strange part here. Okay? This is smooth muscle. This, this, this pinker staining material here is smooth muscle all the way out to there. And you notice the view of it. It's cut and cross section, isn't it? Well, this is a cross section of a large vein, like a piece of jugular vein. And these very large veins like this have smooth muscle in these bundles, in these little clumps, and you can see it's not real continuous, running lengthwise, and they, they say it's in the tunica externa. Okay? So this is smooth muscle running lengthwise in the tunica externa of this uh, large vein. What is really significant on this big vein is if we go looking around, should be able to find, uh, oh, like there. And I tried to wipe that off, and I'm going to pull it and wipe it. That looks like a big, ugly fingerprint. And we'll stick it back on. Better. Fingerprint's gone. Okay. And we see that structure there. Identify that structure. That structure is a? Okay. The way I've asked it, it's a little bit, you know, hard. You can say that structure is an artery, isn't it? That artery in the wall of a large vein like this is representative of the vasa vasorum, isn't it? This is the vessel to the vessel. This is the vasa vasorum, which is taking blood to the... Um, wall of that vessel to nourish it because it's not getting its oxygen, it's not getting its nutrient from okay, the blood flowing through the vein itself. And if we search around on here, you'll find several of them. Little guys like that. There's a, there's a little vas vasorum. There's one, there's an artery, okay? There's one, there's an artery. There, there's very common along this wall. It, it's, it's a necessary, vital thing to keep these vessels alive, okay? Then we're moving into a, a new territory, okay? And we've got a couple of slides here on the lymphatic system. We've got one, two, three, four slides on the lymphatic system. So this is more of an introduction than a review for you, isn't it? Uh-huh. And so we look at this, and we 